Outdoors Delmarva covers everything outdoors. Including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. And we do our best each and every week to keep it tasteful, but discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. This is Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This week on the show. 551 pounds! It's the biggest billfish tournament in the world, and it's right in our own backyard. The 2015 White Marlin Open. We're on the Atlantic for all the high-flying action, and we're at the scales for the excitement of the weigh-ins, all to find out who the winners of $3 million in prize money will be. Plus, there was another contest in Ocean City. This one's to find out who is the fastest server at the beach. Right now on Outdoors Del Marva. I think that's a nice one. Oh, healthy red. Beautiful. This is Outdoors Del Mar, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Andrew Taws and Captain Willie Dykes. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. And I'm Andrew Taws. Well, there's a big crowd gathering behind us, I think it's safe to say that something big is going on. Yeah, Andrew, it's that time of year again for the White Marlin Open. Now, it's been called the biggest billfish tournament in the world, and it happens right here on Del Marva. And we're here once again at the weigh-in scales at the Harbor Island Marina, and it's like a big party here every year. Sure is, Willie, and this is the 42nd year of the tournament, and there are over 300 boats all fishing for an estimated prize of $3 million. So we started the tournament off by jumping aboard the Marley to go out in search of some big money fish. We need to be yelling, this is a winner this year, all right? Listen, we caught the babies last year. This year, we want the winner. Jim Leto is fired up for the start of the 2015 White Marlin Open, and Sunset Marina is lit up as 294 boats prepare to head out and fish day one of the tournament. The crowd is back at the inlet to see the boats file out into the ocean. A couple hours later and we arrive at the Baltimore Canyon. First mate Mark is getting ready for the lines out time of 8.30 a.m. Once fishing begins, it's not long before the first fish is spotted. Left teaser, left teaser, left teaser. Mark sees a white marlin chasing the pink teaser and as it's brought in closer to the boat, we can see it too. There he is, there he is, there he is. This fish, though, wasn't quite ready to take the bait, so back to fishing we go. It's nearly noon and the weather has caught up with us. A nice downpour is underway, but Mark is still watching those lines. Apparently, white marlin don't stop eating in the rain. It, but everybody is relieved to get a fish up to the boat. Turns out that would be the last fish of the day, but it's always good to raise a flag among the parade of boats returning through the inlet. And the crew of the Marley knows they've still got two more days to fish. The scales at the Harbor Island Marina haven't even opened yet, but there's a boat already in waiting. 
A catch will lose weight after it's boated, so the Real Direct from Ocean City has sacrificed a good portion of their fishing day to come in early and test the hook. They already announced the scales will not open at 4 o'clock, uh, but we have a boat in here, the Real Direct, uh, and they're showing that they have a white marlin on board. So the first fish to be weighed in at this year's tournament is going to be a prized white marlin. And this one's got some size to it. It's got the length, but will it meet the 70 pound weight minimum? 68 pounds, 68 pounds. That's a close one and that's a nice white marlin. Nice try by John Hoffman and the real direct. Off in the distance, we see a promising sign. The going in deep from Fort Lauderdale, Florida backs into the dock and it looks like she's got a blue marlin on board. A big blue marlin. Uh, Let's go up there on the winch. 551 pounds! Who's in the first place? Well, I was actually taking a nap inside, and I got to knock on the window to come outside. I ran outside and uh, just jumped on the rod. Never really saw how big it was until the first jump. And uh, it took like a solid hour getting them in and headed right in here. Day one at the scales, we'll also see the biggest tuna of the day. The rumor has it from Chincoteague, Virginia, has boated this husky big eye. But just how big is it? 177 pounds! And that's enough to take first place for now, which leaves local angler Logan Pusey from Snow Hill with a huge grin. Day two will not be as busy at the scales, and it's a little deceiving, because in spite of the nice weather and party atmosphere, it's very rough out on the water today, and only five of the 307 boats in the tournament will be fishing. However, the Ahi has managed to brave the nasty conditions, and it's the lone boat to show up today with a dolphin on board. There is a daily meat fish prize, so all that stands between the crew of the Ahi and a $12,000 payday is that this dolphin meets the 20-pound minimum. 19 and a half. And that's how quickly 12 grand can slip away. So ends day two, but we can't wait to see what sort of fireworks will light up the scales over the next three days at the Harbor Island Marina. Coming up next, there's still plenty of days left to fish, and as we've learned in years past, you never know what's going to happen. But first, did you know? We haven't seen any qualifying white marlins yet, but that got us to thinking. How big is the biggest white marlin in tournament history? Also, who was the angler and what year was it? The answers when we come back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru, higher standards. Sponsored by Shorts Marine. North Bay Marina, and your local LG home comfort dealers. Outdoors Delmarva will be right back. 